All right, back here for area two. Only three entrances on the map we can use, so a bit limited here. I'm bringing it up. All we got is this door. That up there is where we're going to be coming out. And for those of you who have played the damn level before and know this game, you know that the uh, end of this level is fun, fun, fun for everyone. All right, so I'm going to bring back Leo. I still can't believe the plot of this game. Uh, it just kind of bugs me. Up until um, you're actually getting ready for this thread, I did not know that was the official plot of the game. The whole turn Splinter back into human. I knew about that being the ending because I've beaten the game before, but I've never be read the manual to the game because everyone I know never had it. So I'm kind of irked by that. I'm just kind of hoping when I beat this, what happened to my game back then is not going to happen now. Um, Mike. Oops. What are those stupid plane things? I'd really like to know. Chainsaw guy. real boss in this area. Okay, let's get up here. Okay, this little jump up here screws up a lot of people sometimes. So don't be surprised if I have to redo this part once or twice. I still love this soundtrack. I actually have the uh, mini bosses cover of this as well on my playlist. It's, it's really catchy. Let's see, full pizza. Who needs it the most? Raph. If you feel so inclined, you can actually come back and get that pizza over and over again, which I might just do considering how low some of the turtle's health is at the moment. How are we seeing here? Rat, meal's at half, wraps at full, Mike's almost full, and Don's at three quarters. Bombs are set up in the lake. Find entrance. You have my support. No, actually, we'll just gun it. Alright! Those of you who know this game, you're gonna be uh, enjoying a little bit of torture for me now, aren't you? Welcome to the only swimming part of the game. And there are eight bombs scattered around this surprisingly obvious path here. You have to defuse them all before that timer runs out. If time runs out, the lake explodes, instant game over. Although if you kill yourself before time runs out, the timer resets, but the bombs don't, so that's kind of convenient. We have to worry about insta-kill seaweed down there, the uh, electricity generators that seem to be scattered around here for some reason. Shit! I lost Mike. Or, I lost Leo. Leo got caught. Damn it. Who fights next? Mikey! Right, as you can... Well, now I get to show off what I was talking about. See, you don't have to detonate that defuse that bomb. There are six bombs remaining. Damn it, I was just enjoying using BO2. That was stupid of me. Alright, moving on. Really not in the mood to show off that seaweed. What kind of dam is this, honestly? Okay, there's the electric seaweed. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. 
Nope, there's a current. Alright, this guy, this part's kind of annoying, as you can plainly see. Okay, we learned our lesson last time. Rap time for you to get electrocuted. Fortunately, when I get to the next world, I get a chance to save one of my turtles and get him back. Or I can just use one of my continues. You get three continues to get through the whole game. But if you run out of continues, you're stuck back at the beginning of the game. Which is probably a good thing there's only six worlds. Okay, running out of time. Fifty seconds, and one bomb remaining. Seriously, for a NES game, this thing has amazing music. No trouble telling that uh, Konami or subsidiary of Konami worked on it. Uh, come on, come on, come on! Awesome. Now I'm just gonna sit here for a second for dramatic tension, or because I really like the music that plays when there's 20 seconds left. Seriously, how do they know that's when the bomb's gonna explode? Okay! Alright, save the world, kick the Foot Clan's butt. Let's go back home for some pizza. <gasps> My house! Master! Shredder somehow has conveniently set up a VCR with this footage that is set to go off as soon as he walks in. Also, his hand is somehow sticking out of the TV. That's damn impressive. I think he's actually just, like, stand sitting in the TV itself. They just forgot to actually, like, check to see if it was him. When they all walked away to try to find Splinter, he, he just got out and left. Ha ha ha. TV fades out. Holy crap, that's the map. Let's go and help Splinter. Oh boy. In front of Rachel's apartment. Rachel. April's. Where'd I get Rachel from? April's apartment, and we get the turtle van! But you're gonna have to wait till next video to watch me use it. If I didn't help your friend in this stage, you have my support. Somewhere in this stage, Leonardo is captured. And I can find him and get him back without having to get a game over to get him back. So, that, all that, and the saving of Splinter, and so much more in the next episode. Stay tuned.